Converting body heat to electricity and a super fast DNA sequencer based on motion detection. Those stories in today's industry news update. A design for harvesting body heat and converting it into electricity for use in wearable electronics has been developed at North Carolina State University. The prototypes are lightweight, conform to the shape of the body, and can generate far more electricity than previous designs. The new design begins with a layer of thermally conductive material that rests on the skin and spreads out the heat. The conductive material is topped with a polymer layer that prevents the heat from dissipating through to the outside air. This forces the body heat to pass through a centrally located wearable thermoelectric generator. Heat that is not converted into electricity passes through the TEG into an outer layer of thermally conductive material which rapidly dissipates the heat. The entire system is thin, only two millimeters, and is flexible. Researchers found that the upper arm is the best location for the best results and hope that wearable technologies will be a useful tool for health monitoring and they believe that this new prototype is one step closer to making wearable electronics a reality. And NIST may have changed the technology paradigm for DNA sequencers. Over the course of 20 plus years, researchers have been looking for a way to use a low intensity electric current to pull long strands of DNA through nanometer scale pores in a membrane that will allow them to measure the electric field variations of the four nucleic acids as the main approach for DNA sequencers. Now, the National Institute of Standard and Technology is proposing a whole new material architecture that would represent the first DNA sequencer based on sending motion in the membrane as the DNA thread passes through it. They've proposed a device in which a nanoscale ribbon of molybdenum disulfide is suspended over a metal electrode immersed in water. In this arrangement, the molybdenum disulfide acts as kind of a capacitor storing an electrical charge. When a single strand of DNA is passed through a pore in the membrane, the membrane only flexes when a DNA base pairs up with and then separates from a complementary base affixed to the hole. It is this flexing that the motion sensor detects as an electrical signal. NIST performed numerical simulations of how fast and how accurate this DNA sequencer could be, concluding that the membrane would be 79 to 86% accurate in identifying DNA bases in a single measurement at speeds up to 70 million bases per second. It is this speed and accuracy they see as the game changer. But before a complete prototype is built, researchers will be working on chemical functionalization of the material. That's it for this week's industry update. Make sure you stay tuned next week for more news in electronics, automation, and robotics.